What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are working on the Astrovan. We are going to get a lot of small things done. The fuel access panel, we're gonna put a gasket between the panel itself and the floor. Then we are going to go ahead and do all the locks within the whole van. Then we are going to fix the sliding side door because one, it doesn't open all the way and two, it keeps coming off the hinges. So let's go ahead and get that done. I first made this plate for the fuel pump. I realized that the holes were just a bit too small. I decided to use a step drill bit to make them larger enough for the new hardware that I just got to hopefully make the panel a lot stronger. And ultimately it did. If you saw the video when I replaced the fuel pump, you'll notice I painted the floor and the panel, which gives it a very nice look. Now let's add some gaskets. And yes, this is the same gasket I used in the going video. And that looks exactly as I thought it would. Very happy with the look. I was going to go a bit more in depth on the door locks and explain a bit more, but I ended up having issues with them later on and you'll see why. First, you drill out the rivets, remove the old door lock actuator, prepare for a TikTok, and you're done. It's all in, and I'm plugged in. I then slaved away on cleaning these tracks that have been neglected for all these years. Started troubleshooting the door and finally cleaning all the caked on dirt from the bottom track. I had to break up the hard dirt with a flathead, which was kind of satisfying, but kind of gross. I then vacuumed it, wiped it clean, and then lubricated it, which now leads us here. If you uh, realize that those clips are different quality, it's because I actually got a new camera. So this camera is a whole lot nicer compared to the last camera I had. So hopefully the quality is a bit better. As you saw, one of the things that we did, we cleaned this out and now the sliding door can open up all the way without that being an, an issue. So that's good. Um, it, there was so much door, it felt like a full Walmart bag. I lubricated the track and I lubricated this track up here. Now what we need to do is go ahead and fix that hinge. Here is the hinge. So I thought I had to replace this piece and this piece because I didn't think that they sold the pieces separately. Um, and together from another Astro brand, it was, it was gonna be like, I don't know, 80 bucks and that is definitely not worth it. So I did more and more research and it took a couple of days and I finally found that I can actually replace just this guy for about 25 bucks. Here it is. So let's go ahead and remove this. You can definitely tell why it kept coming off the tracks. Basically, um, the bearing itself was tearing apart, so it couldn't have full contact on this rail link here. So let's go ahead and replace this. This was selling as a factory replacement for the Astro. Um, however, these guys are sticking out too much and this plate is on like the opposite side. I'm just gonna try to make this work and see if it works. Got one side out. Okay, all out. That uh, fits perfectly. Then I tried to see if this fits well, and the holes are too big. So, basically, what needs to be done is, well, I think what I need to do to make this work is get a washer 
that will fit perfectly so it can sit snug. So I'm first going to see if this is actually gonna work, so let's check that out. This Jackson will make my life a lot easier while I test fit this. Seems to come a little higher. That should be good. That works. Cool. Did not expect that because I was having issues a second ago. So let's go ahead and install it fully and properly. That was fantastic. I did not think it was gonna work as well as it did and it fit perfectly. So let's go ahead and install this now. It installs on the side of the van just like that. Um, as you can see, it did get messed up and I've already hammered it back straight. It was pretty crooked all throughout here. So I put it on the, on the flat piece of concrete and just started hammering it away and it got it pretty uh, flat. And once we paint the van, you won't know that it was damaged only because you can see the damage here. And of course some small denting there, but it is gonna look fantastic after it's painted. Um, let's go ahead and install this. Oh yeah, I forgot the locks I installed don't work properly. Maybe because I skimped out and bought cheap locks. I don't know. This kind of stinks because I installed four door locks in the van and only one of them works properly. That's basically it. I'm glad we got that done. So we got quite a bit done in this video. If you enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the description down below because I had a lot of fun doing it this way. Usually the type of content I put out is more of like instructional, uh, step-by-step, uh, how-to-ish videos. And I try my best to give out um, things that I do and that I'm, you know, mistakes that happen and stuff of that nature. Uh, so I try my best to give out as many tips as possible whenever I do my how-to's But I also really had fun making this type of video because it's a bit more laid-back. So that's pretty cool So in the next video, we should have some new tires a windshield because that windshield is cracked And we should finally be able to drive it kind of legally on the road I have yet to drive it since I uh, I drove it down from Jacksonville with that sludgy oil and that oil was so sludgy and I didn't even know it because on the dipstick it looked fine but yet when you take it out from the oil pan it was pretty bad. So I'm very excited to get running and driving reliably so we can then start building out the interior. Um, I need to redo the locks, I need to redo that gold ring door because the plexiglass um, it's a bit too flimsy, so I'm going to use some uh, 3 16th aluminum. I think that's what one of uh, a viewer told me to try to use, and it, and it does seem thick enough, so that's what I'm probably going to use, and I'll make that in a future video as well. And there's an Astro van that just went into a, uh, a U pull it locally, so I'm going to go ahead and get two door cards and that roof paneling um, for the front of the van. If you saw the me tearing out the interior, basically everything was molded and cockroach infested so I threw everything that was an interior away. I wasn't even gonna mess with that because I, it's just so disgusting. I don't even wanna think about where this van was. I just wanna think where it's gonna be. So hopefully this motivates you to start working on your car, your van and whatever you're doing because my main goal is to motivate you to start doing things yourself because it's very possible. Like I started in the parking lot, you know? But this is Chris Automotivate. Always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you next time.